Hey guys, so my name is Cole, and I'm going to be doing my first set of tutorials that I've ever done, so, you know, go easy on me. It's um, going to be in C++ using Allegro 5 as our, our graphics library, and we're going to develop the classic game of Pong, so it should be fun. And hopefully you'll learn some stuff, so let's get into it. Um, I'll create another video on how to set up Allegro 5. But for now, I'll assume that you know how to. And uh, what I have here is just a, a blank C++ project. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So let's start off with our includes. Just include the Allegro header. And uh, I'm just going to throw them all out there for now. Just because I like to. Um, but we're going to use the primitives for our drawing. I'm not going to be using any bitmaps or anything for now, but uh, maybe we'll implement that in the future. Um, we're also going to just use fonts and TTF for, um, for fonts as well. So we can bring our own in. Cool. So let's define main. Oops. And let's um, declare some, just some constants. Makes life easier. So the width of our screen will be 900. And our height is actually going to be equal to width divided by 16 times 9. If you don't get that, that's alright. But um, it, it's just going to um, make our aspect ratio 16 by 9, which is, which is handy. Next, let's create a FPS variable, which is 60, which is pretty straightforward. Um, also, uh, we'll wait for that, actually. So, let's um, get into some Allegro kind of house cleaning. So we need to create in the uh, display. display. And uh, it's going to be a pointer. Um, we need an event queue to handle any kind of a keyboard or our timer or mouse input. Just Allegro's way of handling these things. Also, we need a timer. Just setting them to null for now. Um, cool. Now let's initialize Allegro. And test if it actually passed the initialization. Because if it didn't, then we will return negative one and quit. Because that would be bad. Cool. Um, let's define our display. That's pretty straightforward. Um, just gonna set a tile because. Why not? It's fun, I suppose. Um, we're going to set it to display, and we are just going to enter in a string called Pong. Pong. There is a, um, a set window position, position. and um, it'll set where the window opens on your actual monitor. And I'm only going to do it because it opens in my other monitor, which is very annoying, especially for recording, so this makes things much better. But uh, you don't need to worry about that line, though. Okay, so now we have add-ons to initialize. So, first one's going to be our primitives. Um, we need to install our keyboard. Init the fonts, um, fonts, add on, and also we need to initialize the TTF add on. So let's define um, our event queue. And our timer as well.
um, Allegro makes it extremely easy to um, implement an FPS counter, well, just to manage time in the game. So it's extremely helpful because it's not always something easy to do. Like an SDL, it's a little more confusing. So now we need to register some events. Um, register events source. We're going to pass it our event key that we created. Yeah, I'm kind of new to this whole explaining things while I program and type. So it's a little more hard than I expected it to be. I'm just gonna copy this. Um, I'm not one to really copy and paste much, but certain things, like why not? So for this one, we're going to register the timer. Get timer event source and pass the timer. And the display is locked. Wait. Cool. And I'll. The last thing for our kind of standard house cleaning is to start our FPS timer. And start the timer. Okay, so now we're going to define or start um, our main loop. And uh, I didn't create running, but uh, I'm going to create our Boolean running, which is while we're still running in the game. We will continue to do things, and um, at the end of our running loop, we need to flip our display, which has to do with buffering. I might go into detail in that in a future episode, but um, it's not too much you really need to know. And also, um, we need to clear the color, so this is going to flip our, our display, and then uh, clear to us any color you want, and for colors in, in um, Allegro 5, use AL map, RP, RGB, and then you know you have your standard, um, your R, your G, and your B, your red, green, blue, so I'm just going to flip it to black, which is 0, 0, 0. And then to avoid any kind of memory leaks, we need to um, destroy our, our event queue. As well as our display. So, um, events queue. Cool. So now, everything looks pretty good. We will compile it. Open no enemies. Succeeded. And run it. You, we get a black screen. It says Pong in our title, so um, yeah, that concludes our first episode, so hopefully you guys like it, and I'll continue more. Um, if you exit this, it's not going to let you, because we didn't tell how to handle that, but you can exit this way, and it will probably crash. Oh, or not. But if it does crash, there should be a red button that you can terminate it with at the top of Visual Studios Express, and I'm using 2012. Yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching.